what is up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hi how are ya my name is Bullen and what I normally do over here is spilling tea drama videos while I'm putting my makeup on sometimes or sometimes I've already got my face done but today as it's my birthday I'm kind of sitting here getting ready because I might actually go out to the club tonight might actually go out for a little boogie honestly it's been so so long I think the last time I went out to a club was just before the pandemic so being as it's my birthday tonight I'm sitting here I've just done my base and I think I'm gonna get ready and go out to a drug club tonight so let's get into this video I know you're probably waiting for the tea and honestly this is a video that I've been waiting to make for a little while because it is again to do with Adam McIntyre drama channel Adam McIntyre but not only Adam McIntyre it's also to do with journalist journalist Kat Tembarge who used to write for The Insider and also somebody called Hunter Moore. Now if you're not familiar with who Hunter Moore is then he's somebody that used to run a revenge porn site on the internet that was called Is Anyone Up? Now this is something that I'm talking about because it's just been revealed that there's going to be a documentary on Netflix about Hunter Moore and this Is Anyone Up? website. This website led to several women taking their own lives because they were having pictures of their bodies, you know, their nudes posted up on this website without their consent. A lot of the women faced bullying and all of this since having their nudes posted on the website. They would contact Hunter Moore to say, take my picture down and he wouldn't. It's reported that in one instance of this, he actually said LOL, LOL, in response to one of the women who asked Hunter Moore politely to take her pictures down, her nudes down, and he just responded LOL. Yeah, so that's nice. Really nice, huh? Now, I don't know why the fuck Netflix is making a documentary about Hunter Moore and this website. To me, it seems almost like glorifying a revenge porn website and the guy who created it. Hunter Moore actually went to prison for two years for creating this website and the website was taken over by an anti-bullying campaign. But, you know, I honestly don't think that two years was enough for Hunter Moore to serve in jail. I think that pig should have got a whole lot more than two years, you know, for what he did, for the fact that women took their lives after being bullied and all of this because of their nudes being stolen and uploaded onto that website. Like, women died, right? So how is it that he just got two years in jail and then he was back, allowed out to live his normal life? To me, that's fucked up. That is so fucked up. So with that said, you're probably wondering what Adam McIntyre, Drama Channel, and Kat Tembard, who claims to be a journalist, have to do with Hunter Moore, the person who set up and ran a revenge porn site. Now this is where it all gets really kind of interesting and really tea, because it is quite shocking what I'm about to tell you. You know, I have made a few videos on my channel talking about how in 2020 Jeffree Star was kind of being cancelled in a big scandal which was largely kind of perpetuated by an article who Kat Tembarge, who at the time wrote for The Insider, put out. Kat Tembarge put this article out in the October, I think it was, of 2020. She put this article out and this article was claiming that Jeffree Star had essayed somebody basically and in the article Kat Tembarge cited her sources as these few people from MySpace. So these few people from MySpace who allegedly came forward about Jeffree Star doing this that and the other to them. Well I went online at the time I used the Wayback Machine and I found out about these people like Gage Arthur and I also found out about Chris Avery Bennett and I found out that their stories about Jeffree Star 
weren't actually that credible at all and I also found out that Gage Arthur himself had been inappropriate and basically molested a 15 year old. Now when you look at all of that it kind of really damages the credibility of these MySpace accusers stories in my eyes you know if they're claiming that Jeffree Star did something to them but then also they've done things that are horrible to other people it's a little bit like pop calling the kettle black you know what I mean so for me that was the first thing about this whole Jeffree Star scandal that was really kind of strange so if you want to just cast your mind back to 2020 when drama channel Adam McIntyre was making videos about Jeffree Star and this scandal that Jeffree Star was allegedly involved in that he'd allegedly essayed people Adam McIntyre took Cat Ten Barge's insider article and he ran with that making videos video after video about how Jeffree Star was a terrible person how Jeffree Star had allegedly essayed people all of this Adam McIntyre took Cat Ten Barge's insider article as fact and he ran with it girl he ran with it he made video after video sometimes making up to six videos a day on Jeffree Star or Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson he was really like gung-ho about it really going for it and honestly it all seemed very very fishy to me how Cat Ten Barge who is what 30 years old this journalist was friends with this 19 year old drama channel Adam McIntyre it was strange right really strange why would they be friends you know Cat Ten Barge is trying to claim that she's a credible journalist yet here she is being friendly with 19 year old drama channel Adam McIntyre because he's spreading her article about Jeffree Star now I'm not saying that that's all there was to Adam and Kat's friendship but I'm saying they definitely bonded over it. Kat Tenbarge claimed to be a mainstream journalist, culture reporter with Insider which I'm not disputing that that's what her job title was but like I say she was friends with drama channel Adam McIntyre now that for me was quite a weird thing because one why are you hanging around with a 19 year old and two like if you're trying to say that you're a credible journalist and then you're you know buddy buddy with Adam McIntyre who's definitely not a credible journalist it kind of looks bad but sorry I'm just going to stop cutting my crease here because this is the really important bit in the video remember at the beginning of this video i talked about hunter moore who was the owner of is anyone up a revenge porn website well when cat tenbarge wrote her 2020 article on jeffree star that was trying to ruin jeffree star's career trying to destroy jeffree star trying to take him down when she wrote that article i have found receipts that say Cat Tenbarge actually contacted none other than Hunter Moore. So as well as the not at all credible MySpace sources that she cited in her article, she also reached out to Hunter Moore, former prisoner who was jailed for running a fucking revenge porn site. Now Hunter Moore wrote a book right and there is an excerpt that's floating around online that's been floating around online um, where he talks about Jeffree Star in his book and this excerpt of the book it's badly written for a start but this excerpt of the book it's fiction also have a screenshot here that is a tweet that Hunter Moore sent out tagging Jeffree Star accusing him of essaying a 14 year old now this is what Hunter Moore would do, he would make up rumours, malicious rumours, lies about people to destroy them. This was his MO, this was what he did. So he did this to Jeffree Star, I don't know, maybe for some reason that Jeffree Star rejected him one day or something, I don't know. But he decided to target Jeffree Star. So Hunter Moore targets Jeffree Star, then years down the line when it comes to 2020, oh look, Cat Tenbarge is writing an article that is based on a section of a book that was written by 
somebody who was jailed for a revenge porn site and not only that the book was fictional it was stuff that hunter made up in his twisted sick head so adam mcintyre of course then ran with cat's article using it to kind of cancel jeffrey and it was all lies adam mcintyre lied to you all but the thing is this whole thing isn't just about adam mcintyre and cat tenbarge lying to you it brings in to question the whole kind of ethics of cat tenbarge's journalism for me the fact that she was asking these completely unreliable people for information about Jeffree Star, these people that she used as sources in this article. But this isn't the only kind of questionable thing. This isn't the only thing that is being talked about in regards to Kat Tenbarge. Kat Tenbarge is also facing a lot of criticism because now she works for NBC News. Now, NBC News recently put out a documentary about the whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. And there was a moment in there where they were talking about YouTubers who covered the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial and about how YouTubers weren't able to cover it because apparently they don't have any business covering, you know, legal cases. They don't have any business making money off of covering legal cases, blah, blah, blah. And one of the channels that they mentioned in this NBC documentary or one of the channels that they showed was a channel called Popcorn Planet. Now, this was pointed out to me by somebody who goes by the name of Rainy Days on YouTube, so I'll link her channel down below. But she pointed out to me the fact that Cat Tenbarge is yet again being called out for lying. You know, her credibility is in question once again. And guess who they featured, guys? <gasps> Popcorn Planet! Lara B! Me! We made an appearance on NBC News last night! Oh my goodness! My parents are going to be so excited. Let's hear the mainstream media be honest and tell us the truth. Here we go. Let's see how we were brought into this. You also had segments of YouTube that had never covered anything even close to this trial. All of a sudden pivoting, people going from fewer than 100,000 subscribers to over half a million subscribers in a matter of weeks. I really don't know anything about this. Wait, what? <laughs> did did she just say what I think she said? And she just tell me that bad I was... Had you also had segments of YouTube that had never covered anything even close to this trial. Uh, clearly you don't watch our channel. And weirdly enough, Kat, you spoke to me. Uh, that's weird. The person who's speaking is actually Kat Ten Barge, who is the NBC tech and culture reporter. Now, I know you didn't edit this documentary. I hope you didn't suggest me when they asked, well, which places should we cover? We've had a few back and forth. I, I would ex I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say you didn't do it, but... As I recall, we had a conversation. In fact... Well, is it okay with you if I record just for transcription purposes? Yeah, we can totally record. It's fine. Awesome. Awesome indeed. Because you know what, Kat? I'm kind of getting sick of this narrative you're putting out there. This idea that you are better than us. So how is it that this person who says that they're a journalist is allowed to get away with reporting falsehoods and publishing it as if it's fact to destroy people's lives. I don't know, you know, but Kat Tenbarge has also been very pro Amber Heard on Twitter. That's another thing that's making me question her morals, her ethics. The whole thing for me, Kat Tenbarge, no credibility, none. So here we've got proof that Kat Tenbarge acts in bad faith. She contacts YouTubers when she wants to talk to them about something, only to then trash some of those people later on down the line when she's on tv for nbc news so she trashed jeffree star in an article and for that article she was acting like a snake contacting people like hunter moore who again do things in bad faith like for fuck's sake the guy ran a revenge porn website if that's not bad faith what is she spoke to people from myspace who were mentally ill and incapable of actually sitting down and having a normal conversation with her. She spoke to people who made up crazy, insane, malicious lies. Then she fucking wrote an article and published it. All to try and destroy somebody. 
Cat Tembarge needs to be stopped. And so does her little friend, Adam McIntyre. Anyway, my loves, I'm going to leave you here on this one. I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you very soon on the next one. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye.